in this video we're going to take a look at uh, how to get this character moving around the map here. Uh, more importantly, how to make sure that he doesn't go walking on top of these trees or on top of the house or so on. Um, so just quickly, this um, FLA has been set up with a, um, it's just got a background layer which contains basically all the, the actual map. Uh, all that, all the pictures of the trees and the house and the grass and so on. A uh, grid layer, which we'll eventually get rid of, but just to, um, to help uh, help us explain this video, we've got it there, which is just the blue lines and these numbers. Uh, we've got the hero layer, which just contains the character, and we've got an actions layer. So there's some script on this actions layer already, which is um, what we did in class, basically. We've got an on enter frame uh, event function, uh, attached to this to just so it's just attached to the stage. So basically, whatever the frame rate is, if that was 25 frames a second, which um, see I might change now. Let's click somewhere off the stage frame rate. Let's change that to 25. Um, so whatever is inside here, uh, it's going to get called 25 times a second. So it's going to call this function detect arrow presses 25 times a second. All this function does is really similar to what we looked at in class. It's just um, just checking for key presses. So if it's true, the key's down, and it's say the right key, then you want the uh, hero to go to and stop on its right frame. And again, the movie clip of the characters set up is really similar to what we did in class. It's got a uh, different walking positions. Each one of these, you go in, and it's got the actual walk cycle frames and so on. Uh, and then I stop me one, I'm just him looking down, so it's really basic, really basic, same as what we did in class. Um, okay, so, um, it's got this hero walk speed variable, which you can change if you wanted to walk faster, that's basically uh, the amount that's being added to the X or Y axis to, to make him move, so you increase this number, it will just walk faster. Um, just take a look, so you see he moves around and so on, which is fine, but yeah, it's got this problem where he's walking on tiles that basically shouldn't be. So, um, what we're going to look at is fixing that up. Um, so, down here, um, just declared a few um, variables and so on. So we've got this number of tiles X, number of tiles Y, which is set to 10, to 7, and a tile width variable, which is 48. So, what they link to is um, basically it's saying we're going to have 10 tiles across. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we've got 7 down. And each one of these tiles indicated by this grid. So if you, um, imagine each one's a tile. Um, they're 48 by 48 pixels. Okay, speaking of tiles, what we're going to do... Um, so. The, um, the background artwork is just sort of going to sit there. On top, what we're going to have is um, a layer which is basically a, an invisible layer of movie clips, of tile clips. So let's actually draw a, a tile clip. So again, it's going to be invisible. Um, now, these, each of these, they all need to be 48 by 48 pixels. Um, now, they don't have to be. In your example, you can choose whatever grid size you want. Um, basically, it's just related to whatever artwork you're using and so on. And this, I mean, all this stuff's from a Pokemon game, and it's and the character is just a 48 pixel tile. Is, um, suits it well. Um, if you're speaking of artwork and so on, the way this is going to work is um, the way most tile-based worlds work, at least simple ones, is you can either walk on a tile or you can't walk on a tile. So. Um, how you want to set up your artwork and how this one's being done is that um, basically a tile's either clear or it's got content covered so it, it looks realistic like it would be realistic that you couldn't walk anywhere here or here or here or here what you want to sort of try and avoid is having tiles that are half covered because again you can either you can walk on a tile or you can't walk on a tile so It'll look funny if you have artwork that covers half the tile and then it looks like you should be able to walk on the other bit of that, that same tile. But again, the way it's going to work is each of these little squares, you can either walk on them or you can't walk on them. So you want to set up your artwork with that in mind. Um, okay, so these invisible tiles we're going to create. Eventually we'll, we'll make this invisible, but just for now. It's going to create a movie clip called Tile. Now, it's really important that it's registration points, the top left there. 
Okay, you can always go and change that later. If you do need to change it later, it's just basically wherever that um, little cross here is, that's the top left. So if we go to the Align panel, it makes sure the two stage buttons clicked. Align left, Align top, that'll get it there. Again, this is inside the Tile Movie Clip. Um, okay, now, what I'm going to do, um, eventually we won't use this, but just for um, visual purposes to help, help us see what's actually going on with this layer of tiles. Um, I'm just going to create two frames. Um, this one, I'm going to make the opacity know, 33. And this one, make the opacity, say, 50, something like that. Okay. Um, I'm just going to need a stop action there. So, put on a stop. Okay. Um, Alright, so back out on the main timeline. Um, delete that off the stage. In the library there's the tile movie clip. We're going to be attaching them dynamically, so it's going to need a, to be export for action script, identify as lead as tile, okay. Um, that's good. Okay, so um, again, what we're basically going to be doing, just quickly, we'll be using action script to, to add these, but effectively what we'll be doing is we're going to put a tile there, we're going to put a tile there, and there, and there, and there, and there. And then each of the tiles basically will have a, a property which says, oh, it's either empty and you you can walk there if it's empty, or if it's not empty, then you can't walk on that tile. So, okay, but let's look at adding them with action scripts. So, in the actions, um, you know, none tiles X, so we're going to have 10 across, 7 down, the width is 48. This thing here is a 2D array, so this is one way to set up a 2D array in, um, in action scripts. So, we've just got, we create an array called map, and then we instantiate it here, new array, and then inside we've got these other, the seven other arrays, so it's, um, yeah, it's a 2D array with um, 70 values in it, each one corresponding to, so there's 70 values in it, and notice there's 70 grid spots here, so each one is representing a tile, basically, and they're not going to be the tiles themselves. What they're saying, a one means, um, you can walk on that tile, I mean you can't walk on that tile, and uh, zero means you can walk on that tile, and if, if you look closely with these ones here, that basically they're matching up to where the house is and so on, so it's basically a direct representation of what's going, uh, what basically where we want to be able to walk and not walk is represented here with ones and zeros. So that's that one, um, and we'll be referencing this 2D array when we're looking at whether we can actually when the character's walking around and deciding whether we can actually walk on a tile or not. So, um, what we need to do is actually lay down the tiles. So again, we're going to have this background, but on top of this we're going to have a, a layer of, um, of these invisible movie clip tiles, one for each of these spots. And basically as the character walks around, and as he hits a tile, collides with each one of the tiles, we're going to check if that tile's empty or it's not empty. It's the basic thing we're setting up. So, um, let's create a function called add invisible grid. Okay, and to actually lay out the tiles, um, we're going to use a nested for loop. So, we're going to say for r i number 0, i is less than this num tiles y. Um, so this outer loop is basically going to be start one here, 